In this video, we will discuss about the heat transfer methods, especially for convection process. Commonly, heat is to be conducted through conduction, convection and radiation. Uh, already we discussed the conduction is nothing but uh, the uh, atom by atom transfer. If suppose you just uh, heat that one, any one of that uh, uh, metal at one side, the metal, is to, the metal is to be heat is conducted through one atom to atom. Atom by atom transfer is called a conduction. And also we, we can heat that on cold, on, on particular water in our, um, uh, in our um, uh, heating systems. The, uh, automatically the layer by layer transition is called a convection. And the same process, the water is to be transferred from one media to another media without intervening media is called radiation. So in this process, in this video, we will discuss about the convection in detail. Well, let us discuss in detail about the uh, introductions about convection, uh, followed by the lapsirate, uh, what is called lapsirate. The, uh, because of the lapsirate measurement, the stability of the atmosphere is estimated, how the stability of the atmosphere is estimated. Finally, summary of the today's idea. So this is actually the convection process uh, diagram shows that. So here that uh, the total atmospheric heat energy is transferred. The total uh, solar ray is to be transferred from uh, from one play one layer to another layer by the method of the uh, convection process. Okay. So so we let us go. Right. So what? Uh, uh, how to define the convection? A convection means transfer of heat from one place to another by actual motion of material. Okay, this is called layer by layer heat transition. Convection takes place only in liquids and gases. Example is hot air furnace and a hot air furnace and a hot water heating systems. Right. If you suppose example is if the heated material is forced to move the blower or bump. If, because the process is called a forced convection. Okay, if the nature, if if the material flows uh, because of the difference in density, the process is called natural or free conversion. So, if suppose the uh, downward layer they have the higher density and uh, uh, compared to that upward layer. If suppose the material is heated, the is uh, that but the downward layer is expanded. The heat is uh, due to expansions of the material, so the density is slow, is weightless, so it automatically go through the upper. So automatically the the neighboring layer come to that downward layer. So in this way, this is called a natural convection process. So some of the process called a forced convection process, which I have discussed earlier. Yeah. So the lapse rate, the lapse rate is defined by the rate of rate at which the temperature decreases or lapses. Lapse means decrease. The decreases with the lag, lapses per kilometer increase in latitude. That is the rate of fall of temperature with the altitude is called the lapse rate. Okay. So if we, uh, if you are to increase in the height of that uh, layer, height of that layer, we can uh, uh, feel it to be a cold, cold. It just travel from one kilometer uh, uh, away from our earth, that will be a 10 degree centigrade is going to decrease. Uh, if the earth temperature is 30, and that place we just ignore 20 degrees Celsius and then go into the next level is 10 degree and so on, minus and we go to the minus levels. Right. Suppose, let us have uh, some uh, detailed discussions about the lapse rate. The temperature of air decreases with altitude. This is commonly the temperature of air decreases with the altitude. The lapse rate of troposphere may be calculated by assuming that change in pressure and uh, volume of the air in the atmosphere takes place under adiabatic conditions. Okay. So if, if suppose the, the, the according to the density of the uh, air molecule, we can uh, classify uh, our atmosphere is troposphere, the stratosphere, and ionosphere. Up to uh, 10 to 9, 9 to 10 kilometers, that's called a troposphere region. So about that, uh, uh, 10 to 15 is called a troposphere, and uh, above that, uh, uh, 15 kilometer above that uh, surroundings is called a ionosphere. 
okay so because of the air uh, molecular density the highly air molecular density of air molecule is to be placed in the stratosphere regions okay so uh, we can estimating that uh, pressure at the temperature we can uh, classify it to a particular height at the height so pressure and the temperature will be the p and t so if you have to go increasing that altitude of that particular place so if you have to decreasing that uh, uh, pressure is dp and the temperature is dt when you go to increasing the height dh therefore at, at a particular place at a particular reference frame the pressure is p minus dp and also the temperature t minus dt so this is actually the troposphere region is called the adiabatic equilibrium this this conditions is going to be adiabatic conditions okay if suppose O is not obeyed at Boyle's law, this is called the adiabatic conditions. If suppose pressure and volume is going to increase, but at the same time temperature is also increased. So this is actually the isothermal process. But uh, it, it cannot be uh, it like this. This is called adiabatic expansions. Hence the column of air obeys the adiabatic equations. Therefore, you can write in that adiabatic equation is P nu minus 1 by T nu is equal to K. The K is a constant, nu is called a uh, specific capacity of the ratio of the specific capacity of air. That is nothing but uh, nu is equal to Cp by Cb. The specific capacity at constant pressure to the specific capacity at constant volume, this rate, particular ratio is called a, is a nu. But taking into logarithm of this uh, mathematical quantity, so for nu minus 1 log P is equal to log K plus nu into log T. We can make a differentiate this expression with respect to the variable. Therefore, the nu minus 1 into log p is dp by p is equal to nu into dt by t. Therefore, log k is 0. So, this would be the expression number 2. For incre increase in height d guys, the depletion pressure dp is given by. The increase in height at a, at a, at a particular diabetic expansion, the idea that we can fix in that value dp dh is increase dp is going to be decrease therefore dp is equal to minus dh into rho into g the pressure is calculated at that place is equal to h rho g according to uh, Tarsalian's uh, principle so it is equal to minus dh uh, into rho g where rho is a mean density of the uh, section of the atmosphere therefore dp is equal to minus dh into rho is nothing but a mass per volume of that atmospheric uh, air, therefore m by v into g. So since we, we, we have the PV is equal to RT, this boys are law is PV is equal to RT, therefore P equal to volume of that air is equal to RT by P. So you just putting uh, V uh, replacing that V by RT by P, therefore DP is equal to minus dh into uh, MP by RT into g or dp by p is equal to uh, minus dh into mj by rt so substituting for dp by p in equation 2 you get nu minus 1 minus dh into mg by rt is equal to nu into dt by t so from that expression dt by dh therefore a rate of change of temperature with respect to the height is called dt by dh is equal to the remaining quantity minus gm by r into nu minus 1 by q because substituting the value of uh, a mass of the air, g, acceleration due to gravity and the gas constant r, or nu is a specific ratio of the specific capacity, we can calculate the adiabatic collapse rate is uh, of the perfect dry air is minus 10 degrees C per kilometer. So this is a, uh, this uh, lapse rate value is called a stable equilibrium conditions. So that the lapse rate is very much of a play with the stability of the atmosphere. What will we say that the stable atmosphere is one in which the lapse rate is normal, okay, minus 10 degrees C per kilometer. In case of moist atmosphere, in case of moist atmosphere, that's called uh, in uh, during that uh, uh, rainy season as well as uh, the uh, dew sessions. Moist atmosphere, the atmosphere, the upstream air gets cooled due to adiabatic expansion. The upstream air, therefore, uh, the upstream air gets cooled due to adiabatic expansion because the uh, actually uh, the sun is to be radiated through through our earth. 
So therefore, automatically the air is going to be expanded. Uh, it will be moved through that upper end. It automatically releasing the air, releasing the temperature to the surrounding temp surrounding air. So it is automatically that particular value, particular air is gets cooled. Okay. So the condensation starts become uh, starts because the liberation of heat, latent heat, and hence the lapse rate becomes low. Less than the normal value. This is called the saturated adiabatic lapse rate. Okay, in noise atmosphere, it will draw, go through that upper spaces, which automatically reducing that area due to adiabatic expansion, it automatically reduces the heat. So that particular lapse rate at particular situation, the lapse rate is very low, very low. That's called the saturated atmosphere or a lapse rate for stable atmosphere. The lapse rate value must be in between the value of dry air as well as saturated air. Okay. Another cause of stability of the atmosphere is due to conduction of heat from air to the ground during clear night. Okay. So it automatically uh, in the night session the dense to air molecule it it will be come to reach that uh, earth. It automatically the air, earth is get cold. So it uh, releasing the heat from the uh, air to Earth. So this is this is actually due to uh, this is due to the temperature gradient near the ground level uh, reverses, which is called the temperature of inversion. This is called the temperature inversion. Okay. Finally, summary of this today's idea: this convection is one one particular method to conduction of heat. So it should be uh, possible from uh, liquid uh, temp at the liquid and uh, um, as well as air molecular. Uh, heat conduction, heat uh, radiations, this process is going to be done. So this is a good example is this is like a, a chimney in uh, using our kitchens as well as uh, atmospheric uh, air transitions as well as hot air uh, systems, hot air systems, that's like uh, hot water systems. So in all the places uh, you got using this conduction phenomena. And lapse rate is nothing but the if you are increasing the height, uh, it uh, automatically the temperature is going to be lapses. So it automatically if you to go go into the ground to one kilometer away from the ground, that is called a 10 degree Celsius going to be decreased at that particular places. This is a stability of the atmospheric condition. This lapse rate is to be a normal. So if suppose the stable atmosphere is going to take place between the uh, lapse rate is dry between the dry air as well as saturated air. Another form of stability of the atmosphere in the night session, so the uh, uh, heat is conducted through the gas molecules to the air. That will be maintaining the particular temperature in, in and around the air. So it should be stability of the atmosphere during that clear night. This, this process is called the temperature of inversion. Okay. So from that I conclude that uh, idea about the convections. Thank you.